So let's talk about the very cool benefits of avocado oil. All right, first thing is it's loaded with potassium, 708 milligrams per avocado. And then we have carotenoids, chlorophyll, different uh, phytonutrients that have different effects. Um, one big effect is to help balance the different types of cholesterol in the body. Now that's interesting because people automatically think, oh, avocados, they have saturated fat, that's gonna worsen my cholesterol. Actually, no, it's not. It's going to help your cholesterol based on these other phytonutrients. And then we have vitamin E, but not just the tocopherols, the tocotrienols too. So this is the complete vitamin E complex. Lutein, which is great for the eye and protecting you against the complications of all the oxidation out there and the chemicals and junk foods. It's loaded with vitamin K1, B2, B6, folate. It also has a lot of vitamin C. And then we have omega-9, which is different than omega-3. Omega-9 is the monounsaturated fats, really good for balancing out cholesterol. So it's cardioprotective. It's great for the hair. Could be because of the vitamin E complex. And then we have anti-inflammatory. In fact, there's some interesting uh, studies, I'll put some links down below, that show that certain properties in avocado oil can mimic the mechanism of certain drugs, which are anti-inflammatory. Fascinating. It can help stabilize your blood sugars. That's why avocados and avocado oil are great when you're on the ketogenic diet. Lower blood pressure, probably because of the large amounts of potassium. Potassium is a physiological relaxer, and so it's really good for people with high blood pressure. Uh, number six, decrease the effects of sugar. There's a study that I read that shows the comparison that even when you actually consume sugar, and you actually add avocado oil, you can actually reduce the effects of sugar. Not that you're gonna do that, but it's just good to know. All right, number seven, avocado oil is great to use when you cook certain things because it doesn't smoke like other oils. So you can actually heat it up to 480 degrees before it starts to smoke. Now, of course, when you're heating the oil, you're gonna destroy these nutrients, okay? So yes, you can actually definitely use it for cooking, but I would also use it on your salad and you wanna get the organic cold press extra virgin if possible, and that way you can retain these nutrients right here. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and if you haven't seen my video on olive oil, check that here on the page.